What is up, Matthew Moore here for Friday First Reaction for April 20th, 2018. New camera angle, new natural lighting, same amazing, beautiful EDM that we all know and love. So let's get started with one of the biggest collaborations of the week, Game Over by Loopers and Martin Garrix. <laughs> Oh, this reminds me of the Brisky and Abstract, the song that has a very similar bass. I do like that pitch down saw, very aggressive sounding, but I'm not sure if I love the lead. I can see this lead melody working in a big house song. However, it doesn't quite work in this house sort of format. I do like the outro here. Well, I do like that, you know, Looper's getting a big look by working with Martin Garrix. I'm not sure that the execution was 100% there. I do like the bass, reminds me a lot of Antigon by Dombreski and Abstract. However, that song had a bit more style, had a bit more of a groove to it. Well, I do think this has a place in Martin Garrix's sets. I don't think it's the next Make Up Your Mind with Florian Picasso where it's like this really cool, wonky, interesting song that a lot of different DJs can play. A little disappointing since I hold Martin Garrix and Loopers as a pretty high regard as far as producers go. Next up is Calvin Harris's remix of Alone by Halsey. He's been all about the horns for the past three releases. I gotta hear the bass line. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> this makes the Halsey track sound like a disco sample. This is super cool. <laughs> Calvin Harris. This is dope! Calvin Harris is making half of you producers just look super uncreative and uninspiring because in 2017 I can't think of any remix that quite did a spin on a song quite like this. The brass almost reminds me of like a Tujamo track and maybe some like weird Swedish producer. The song sounds very like it's derived from, you know, very summery house music from a long time ago, however, it sounds very modern. That brass lead is just unbelievable. Super good driver of the whole song. I like how he turned Halsey's vocal pretty much into a soul sample. This song just fills many purposes at once. So we get to see it playing in many different contexts. It's just a really cool song. Next is Somebody by The Chainsmokers. All right, this sounds like they. Oh, listen to that. Listen to when an actual vocalist sings the hook. Oh. Huh. Kind of low key. Wow. This is like an actual song. This is the first chance to work for songs where I'm like, where I'm not like, where's the drop? It's, I can listen to this whole song. Huh. This song was rather interesting. I do like how they had Drew Love, who I think is a part of They on the hook. At least it sounded like the vocalist from They. The whole song is pretty moody and dramatic, and so is the drop, at least the more instrumental part of the song. But this is also the first Chase Smoker song where I wasn't really looking for the drop. I thought every part of it was really pleasant. The guitar, the piano, and then also the vocals were pretty good as well, which I think is a good thing because I think that's the direction they want to go. And I think if they keep making songs like this that are a little bit more robust, without those EDM cliches, it'll be for the better. I thought it was pretty catchy, however, it just still might not be my thing, but I'll keep listening to it. Just breathe, just breathe. Oh.
Uh. All right, plug it. Um. This <laughs> is so fucking stupid. All right. Next up. Oh no. Next up is Sunday Fuck You Too by Data Life. Is my sound card screwed up or is this like really bad? Alright. The fucked up thing is. I read like comments on Reddit. People were being like, this is good. There's some weird LFO on the lead in the background that makes it sound very stuttery and weird. And then this vocal is just garbage. Skip. Next is Worry by Felix Cartel. Huh. So if you've heard the other Phil Cartel song, it's more or less like those. I think this is all gonna be in just one EP or an album. I'm not necessarily getting tired of the style, however, I'm just now ranking this against the three other songs we've already heard, and I'm not sure if it's exactly up there. However, I can see people being really into the song. Next up is Show Me by Vincent. Huh. Hey. Yeah, there's some weird box stuff in the background too right now. Drums are fresh. Hey. <laughs> Was that a vocoder in there? Is that what it's heard? It's a very interesting song. It's very light and pretty, however. It didn't seem vapid, it actually was very, very entertaining to listen to. I'm going to keep going back to the song. I'm not sure if this is necessarily my favorite, but there's something to it. Next is Tambors by Andrew Rail and Graham Bell. Yup. Hey! Haha! <laughs> nice! Now those are some fucking power saws, holy shit. Haha! <laughs> yep. Huh. This is cool. Haha! <laughs> nice! That would be my favorite drop of the three. As far as the trance song goes, you can't really get much more progression than this throughout the whole track. Three separate drops, three separate sort of moods, but even the percussive African styled drop sort of blends in a little bit later in the song, comes back in. Really just a whole bunch of surprises, a lot of great execution, some beautiful loud saws and aggressive drops. I think it's a great Andrew Rayo song. I think it deserves about one flying res and two memeing Oliver Heldens. Next up is Jigsaw by Jay Hardway and The Him. Ha! Huh. Ha! <laughs> wow! Yup. What a juicy bass. You know what this is? This is that. This is the pregame to the festival. This is what you throw on on the Bluetooth speaker in the hotel room. This one of the first purely instrumental spinning songs of this year that I've really enjoyed. I could definitely see this being on a couple of schools out, summer playlists. I really, really like the bass. Shout out to Jay Harway, I like the song. Next up is Love Residue by Smile and Jackie's Boy. Nice. 
No. No, you can't do that. Nah. You're not gonna just equate emotions to sperm on people. That's next up is Phlegmatic Dawes remix of Jaws by AC Slater. Very subtle synth the back. Ooh. Run it back, running it back, running it back, running it back. Yo, give me that beat. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Some forward thinking house music right here. At least I haven't heard anything like it. They have the best club track so far this week, I'm gonna say. Really cool bass line, fidget switch up action going on. I can see Joyride, Skrillex, and a whole bunch of other cats screwing with this song a lot. I've heard the name Phlegmatic Dolls, but I don't necessarily have any songs that are coming to mind. However, I really do like the song, so shout out to them. Two thumbs up. Next is David Guetta's remix of Flames by David Guetta. This song is slowly growing on me. It's a little higher tempo. Hey! All right. Back in 2011. Ah, yes. Oh, I've heard it so many times before, but never gets old. The coolest thing about the song is I could see actually David Guetta really being about the song, being sort of a passion probably for him, because he could have taken this remix different ways, but I feel like this is the most David Guetta sounding song I've heard in a while. Fairly straightforward, melodic, clubby, a little bit moody, a little old school sounding, but if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And I'm happy David Guetta made a more nostalgic sounding song like this. Oh, now it's house. Haha! <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Long story short, that song just kind of sounded like a budget chicken soup to me. It's a cool style. However, I like to see a little bit more exploration, a little bit more originality when you try to execute this style because Chicken Soup, one of the best house songs 2017. I think it's one of my favorite half track joints. That's gonna be hard to beat. You can't just kind of copy it and hope that you're gonna somehow surpass that level. Next up is Kumani by Goja and Silver. Cool clap. Ha! First of all, I love how hard these drums hit. It reminds me a lot of Deep Down Low by Valentino Khan. Just super, super punchy. I would be greatly, really surprised about the song, except I'm already somewhat familiar with Silver, familiar with Goja. I know what they're both capable of. This is, this is a very cool bass out song. I do think the vocal is a little bit juvenile and a little bit repeated too much. However, I think it's a good house joint nonetheless. Last song is Black Mamba by Gasly. <laughs> Well, I'm afraid now. Yep. Must be a little bit of the epic collab. Ha! <laughs> yep. I did like that beat switch up quite a bit because I did think that bass belonged a bit better in a depth of context. In the more housey context, it reminded me a bit of Jaws. If you're a fan of that shark bass house style, the song is definitely for you. However, I think it's a little just too harsh in my ears and I've heard better house songs from Ghastly. So I think I'm gonna skip this one. All right, those were all the songs of this week. A lot of good songs, quite a few great songs. Not too many cringe, what the hell is this sort of music. So 
I'm gonna skip the worst songs of the week, or I'll give you some of my favorites of the week. First of all, Kevin Harris's remix of Alone might be one of my favorites of this year so far. I just like more dancey, aggressive songs, but also have that upbeat energy, and this is definitely one of those songs. Especially since I'm kind of sorely missing Disclosure at this phase of the year. I usually expect, you know, more Disclosure music around now to really fill that housing void, but coming out will definitely do in this case. Then Jigsaw by Jay Hardway. Just one of my favorite spinning releases of this year, and nothing too serious, but I just do like that bass line quite a bit. I'm a Jay Hardway fan, what can I say? Number three, Phlegmatic Dogs remix of Jaws by AC Slater. Maybe it's a little too long for some people, it is four minutes, however, I just think it's very interesting to listen to. Then lastly, David Guetta's remix of Flames by David Guetta and Sia. I wouldn't mind if just David Guetta just makes OG dance songs forever, because I just think he does them really well, and I think just fits his style. Because I wouldn't mind him just playing music that's a bit more honest and a bit more him. So those were my favorite songs of the week. What was your guys' favorites? Did I miss any songs? Please let me know below. If you like the new camera angle and lighting, let me know if you think it's complete shit then also tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. This has been Friday First Reaction for April 20th, 2018. I'll see you guys next time.